Howdy! Today on Reflecting Science we're going to be looking at balancing equations very simply. So we're going to start by using a method I call the shopping bag method and then after that we're going to try it without. So this is the equation we're going to balance. So we've got hydrogen and chlorine reacting to produce hydrochloric acid. We're going to use apples to represent hydrogen atoms and bananas to represent chlorine atoms. What we're going to do is we're going to follow one of the fundamental rules is Basically, you can change the number of molecules you have, but you can't change what makes up the molecule. And the way we do that when we're doing this example is we can change the number of shopping bags that we have, but not what's in a shopping bag. So, have a look at our, what, our, what we have. So, we've got apples representing hydrogen atoms, chlorine is being represented by bananas. If you see the little number after something, that means you have that many of whatever's in front. So, in this case, I have two hydrogens and two chlorines. So, I need to represent that in my shopping bags. So in this shopping bag, I've got my hydrogens. In this shopping bag, I've got my chlorine, so I have to have two of them. There we go. And over here, I've got one apple, one hydrogen, and one banana, one chlorine. All right. So this is what I have. Once you've represented it that way, it's a good idea to count up what you've got. So, if we have a look at our bags here, we can see we've got two apples here, two bananas here, and only one banana and one apple. So the question is, is that balanced? We look at either side of the arrow. So on this side of our arrow, we've got two apples. On this side, we've only got one. On this side, we've got two bananas. On that side, we've only got one. So now what we need to do is figure out a way that we can get the number of bananas and apples to be the same on both sides. We can do that by changing the number of shopping bags. Okay, so if we look here, how could we do it? If we made a duplicate of that and had a look at what we have now. Now, if I have a look on this side, I've got two apples. On this side, I've got two apples in total now. So I've doubled the number of molecules of hydrochloric acid. That's what I've done. So if I have a look at the number of bananas here, I've got two bananas. And now on this side, I've got two bananas. So if we represented that by counting it up, we've got two apples, two apples, two bananas, two bananas. So on either side of the arrow, now I'm balanced. When we're changing the equation up the top, what we do is we put a little number two up the front. That means you have that number of everything that follows. So where over here you have a small number behind, that means you have that of what's directly in front. Over here, what that means is you've got two of whatever is after it. So in this case, we've got two hydrochloric acid molecules. Now I've left spaces here to put 1's, but we don't put 1's, we just say H2 plus Cl2. So now this is balanced, 2 apples, 2 hydrogen atoms, 2 chlorines, 2 chlorine atoms, on this side 2 apples, 2 hydrogen atoms, and 2 bananas, 2 chlorine atoms. So the big number out the front means we have that many of everything that follows. Let's do another example now. So our example this time is we're looking at sodium and chlorine making up sodium chloride. So I'm using strawberries to represent sodium, and I'm using chlorine, again bananas, to represent chlorine. So let's fill up our shopping bags and see what we've got. So first thing, we've got one strawberry goes in this bag representing that sodium, and then in this bag here we've got two chlorines again. So we'll put those in. All right. Now on this side, we've got one sodium and one chlorine, so one strawberry and one banana. So we'll put those in. Alright, there they go. So, here's what we have to start with. Let's count them up. So how many strawberries do we have on this side of the arrow? We've got one. How many bananas do we have on this side of the arrow? We've got two. So I'll put that second one in there. Alright, so on this side we've got one strawberry and two bananas. What about the other side? On the other side we've only got one strawberry and one banana. So I'll represent that as well. So I'll put one strawberry over here. I'll replicate that one. Now I've got one banana over this side. Okay, is it balanced? I've got one strawberry on this side, one strawberry on this side. So that's okay. I've got two chlorines on this side and only one chlorine on this side. So two bananas on this side and one banana on that side. So what's the limiting factor here? I've got one banana on this side, two bananas on this side. So I need to have two bananas on this side. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to double my number of bags on this side. So now I've got two of these bags. Now let's count it up again. One strawberry on this side, that's okay. Two bananas on this side, so I'll replicate that one. Okay, so there we go. Now on the other side, let's count it up. So we've got one strawberry on this side, two strawberries on this side. So two strawberries on the right hand side. So I'll put those in. 
So we've got two strawberries on this side, and how many bananas do I have on this side? Two. So I'll put those in over here. Alright. Now let's do our count up and see if we're balanced or not. So we've got one strawberry, two strawberries. So we're not. So our limiting factor now is our number of strawberries. So what we need to do is double our number of strawberries. Okay, so now we've got two strawberries on this side. We can do that. Make sure we've got it right. So two strawberries on this side, two strawberries on this side. Two strawberries on the left, two strawberries on the right. And I've got two bananas on the left. And two bananas on the right. So I can put those in as well. So the question is, are we balanced now? So if we have a look at what we've got, we've got two strawberries on this side, two strawberries on this side, two bananas on this side, two bananas on this side. So now we're balanced because we've got the same number of strawberries and bananas on both sides of the arrow. So on both the left hand and the right hand side of the arrow. Now we need to represent that in our equation up here. So what did we do? What we did was we doubled the number of sodiums, so we doubled the number of strawberries. So I'll write that in over here. So big two out the front. We didn't change the number of chlorines over here. They stayed at the same, we didn't change that. But what we did do is we doubled the number of sodium chlorides over here. So again, I need to put a big two out the front. And now that's fine. So this is how we would represent the balancing properly. Now we're going to try it without doing the strawberries and the bananas. So let's have a look. So this time we're going to do it without using the shopping bag analogy. So this time we're trying to do it in our head. We're going to still write down our numbers of atoms that we have, but we're going to do it in a slightly different way. So we're not going to use fruit or shopping bags. So this is our equation here. We've got titanium chloride reacting with water to produce titanium dioxide and hydrochloric acid. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to write down how many of each of the um, elements I have. Okay. So on this side, I've got one titanium. There's no number after it, so I've got one. Uh, I've got four chlorines on this side, so I'm going to write down four. I've got two hydrogens, so a little two there means I have two of that in front. So two hydrogens, and I've got one oxygen over here. So I'm going to write down one oxygen. On the other side, I've got one titanium, so I'll write that down. I've got two oxygens, so I'll put that down the bottom. I've got one hydrogen, and I've got one chlorine. All right, so immediately I can see I've got some problems. So my numbers of chlorine, hydrogen, and oxygen are all off. First thing we're going to ask ourselves is what is the limiting factor? And I'm going to look at the hydrochloric acid over here. I've got one hydrochloric acid, and on this side I've got four. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change that one to four. Okay, so we'll get to the next page. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a 4 out the front here because that's the first, that's the thing that I think is the most limiting factor at the moment. So if I do my count up again, on this side I've got 1, I've got 4, I've got 2, and I've got 1. Now if we go on this side, I've still got 1 titanium, still got 2 oxygens on this side, so that's not right. But now I've got a big number 4 out the front, so I've changed my number of shopping bags over here. So now I've got 4 hydrogens, so i put that down here. And I've got four chlorines, because the big number at the front means you have that of everything that's following it. So now I've got four chlorines. Now we're starting to look a bit better. Now we need to look at what we're going to do with the other side. If we look on the other side over here, we can see that we don't have enough hydrogens, we don't have enough oxygens. So what I can do is I can change that number. So if we go to the next page, so what I did is I put four there. Now I'm going to double this one. So now let's do a count up because that way I think I'll get the right number of hydrogens and oxygens on both sides. So on this side I've got one titanium, I've got four chlorines. Now if I look at my number of hydrogens, I've got two times two, so now I've got four in total hydrogens, and I've got two oxygens. If I go to the other side of the arrow, I've got one titanium here, I've got two oxygens there, I've got four hydrogens here, and I've got four chlorines here. And now we're balanced. So, to finish that one off, one titanium chloride molecule reacts with two water molecules to produce one titanium dioxide molecule and four hydrochloric acid molecules. So now we're balanced because we've got the same number of each atom on both sides. So, there's an example. This is Flipping Science for today. See you later.